North Korea's provocative test, the first of its kind since September, shows Kim Jong-un has reignited his ambitious weapons program. U.S., South Korean, and Japanese military officials say today's launch was of an intercontinental ballistic missile, the most powerful rocket the rogue nation has, one capable of entering space and striking its enemies from thousands of miles away. Sources say it flew east off the North Korean coast and was in the air for about 50 minutes. It traveled about 620 miles, reaching a higher altitude than Kim Jong-un's major ICBM test in July, and splashed down inside Japan's exclusive economic zone, the waters off Japan's coasts where it has the right to fish and explore. They're reminding the United States, they're reminding Japan uh, that they have been uh, quite earnest in increasing the range and the capabilities and characteristics of their missile force. Kim's regime has tested missiles this year at a furious pace. This makes 23 missiles launched in 16 tests since February. But the North Koreans had been fairly quiet recently, not testing a missile in more than two months. So why now? This could be a reaction to political events like being put on the U.S. Uh, list of terror sponsors or other recent condemnations of North Korea. It could be shaping ahead of the Winter Olympics in South Korea this winter. Um, probably more likely it's just part of North Korea's ongoing missile uh, program and their development of missiles that ultimately will be able to strike North America. Despite repeated pressure from the president and a recent diplomatic mission by China, Kim Jong-un has made it clear he is not backing down. Instead, the North Koreans have been accelerating every aspect of their weapons programs, testing a massive hydrogen bomb in September, fine-tuning their rocket fuels and engines, and honing their targeting and guidance systems. The U.S. believes Kim and his generals could be able to place a miniaturized warhead on top of a missile sometime next year, and experts say they're just a couple of steps away from demonstrating a full-fledged capability to hit the continental U.S. with a nuclear-tipped missile. The one thing that they could do to demonstrate an end-to-end -end nuclear capability is to put, a no to put an actual nuclear weapon on the top of a missile and fire it off into the Pacific and actually detonate it uh, somewhere out there. Uh, to get there, we think there might be a couple uh, things to work out, such as miniaturization uh, and reentry so that it actually gets through the atmosphere without burning up. So I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh is the name of His only begotten Son, whom the world only calls God in Jesus Christ. All right, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the brethren I here, pushing His word in sincerity and truth. All right, so this article is talking about North Korea, man. New missile test shows all of U.S. in range. All right, so they didn't quite hit on it on the video like I expected it to, but it says all of U.S. in range, man. That's, that's World War Three, man. All right, North Korea claims to have successfully tested a new type of intercontinental, intercontinental ballistic missile topped with a super large heavy warhead, which is capable of striking the U.S. mainland. All right, Kim Jong Un is uh he he got he got it man, he's got they got it together man, you know and that's the spirit of the Lord. This is Joel three verse ten, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. All right, so we don't got to, as much as the, we bring this verse out when it applies to them, uh, North Korea, man, it's so fitting. And it's going to be other countries just like this, too. You know, but uh, all of the gardening tools and things that they have, beat them in the swords. All right. And then it says, let the weak say, I am strong. All right. So these this a country that was looked at to be so small and so insignificant. Is now talking about they can uh, uh, hit the United States mainland, which is going to hit the United States mainland. You know, it's just the spirit of the Lord when it's all going to come into fruition. But it's going to happen, man. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.